Healthy. This is Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Happy Happy Healthy Vegan. So this is a topic that's been percolating for a few weeks to a few months now. I feel like it's kind of reaching ahead right now. There's been a lot of fighting in the comments about um, basically what vegan is and what it isn't and what is like this narrowly defined definition of veganism that we should all be sticking to. So one of the things I've been seeing happening a lot is that um, someone that's coming from more of a um, animal rights activism uh, background will be kind of disparaging towards people um, that are more from the plant-based uh, vegan movement that's uh, you know a little newer um, where health is more of the concern as if somehow uh, health-based vegans are not really vegans at all which is weird if you look up the definition of definition of vegan it talks about uh, the lack of having animal products in your diet it didn't say that and you must also prioritize one thing like yeah um, animal rights or the environment or health as your topmost priority for being vegan in fact we're all we all have different reasons for what got us into veganism in the first place and i've learned the longer you stick with it it talked to a bunch of vegans it's so true if you may have came for for health but later on you start realizing oh the environment will be saved oh man all this animal torture is going on too so you gotta respect people where they're at in their journeys absolutely and we actually covered this um I think it was this year, a yeah. report came out, there was a study done on um, why people would leave veganism and um, what they found was that vegans who are going out there and, and talking to people, trying to bring them in to the vegan lifestyle, um, have the least amount of success keeping people on a vegan diet when they were only pitching it uh, from the animal rights uh, welfare position and that what kept them vegan the longest is when you could pitch someone on the health benefits. And what kept them even longer was if you could have more. The more reasons you had for being vegan, if you could tack on environment, health, and animal rights, it sticks. Veganism sticks because you see how just insane it is to not be vegan yeah. almost. It makes no sense. Exactly. Throw a little weight loss in there as well and that's how you really hook them. And in case you haven't noticed, that's exactly what we're doing here on Happy Healthy Vegan. Making videos, helping people understand that veganism is the best diet for humans is activism. Yeah. We're being activists right now. Absolutely. And we're not downplaying the role of activism. Go out there and fight the good fight. We love um, like, like say um, your, your friend Ali. Yeah. And he explained that he likes he likes to go out there and and get involved because he likes to convert people to veganism one-on-one -on -one, face to face and I respect that that he has the courage to talk to someone right to their face in the streets we all need to get along guys it's so crazy how veganism seems to be such a so much infighting and so much division and that's just asinine like they've been bagging on some of the vegan doctors because the vegan doctors um, they don't call themselves vegans yeah <laughs> and I don't know they bring up maybe that they're still wearing leather shoes or leather belts. I don't know whether they do or whether they don't. But the thing is, these vegan doctors that are helping people all over the world improve their health by embracing a vegan diet and not telling those patients anything about animal rights, the thing is they're still helping the animals because if you think about it rationally, each person out there that stops eating meat, dairy, and eggs, that's that many less animals that have to be killed and tortured. So if we can get more Americans on board and more people internationally get on board with the vegan diet, whether or not they realize it, they are helping the animals. Absolutely, guys. Think about that. It's absolutely true. No denying that fact. Okay, what's really bugging me too is how now some people are popping up saying that like all vegans should have the same kind of like approach to their life. Like all like what? All vegans are super chill. All, all vegans, vegans are, are laid back. And polite and nice, you yeah. know, like perfect people. All vegans are like, you know, the idea of what a, of the nicest, most perfect human is. Yeah, all vegans are super compassionate. All, you know, all vegans like are like listening to hippie music. Hey man, is that Freedom Rock? Yeah man, well turn it up! 
stop it! The only thing all vegans do is abstain from eating animals and animal products. And some vegans are really nice, like Angie and me. And some are a little bit more mean and hardcore and confrontational. Vegans have a lot of reason to be upset and pissed off. I mean, yeah, or feel our, alienated. Yeah, I mean, we're all automatically alienated as vegans, and our, our world's going to hell in a, in a handbasket, and, mm. and there's nothing we can do about it. A lot of reasons to be upset. I mean, we're really angry. We, we try to curb it on the show, but if you think <laughs> that we don't sit around and have tirades privately here in our house, you are so mistaken. We have to film on one day. No way. <laughs> no way we'll get too much heat. <laughs> It's just really short-sighted to imagine that all vegans are going to conform to any one standard. It's not going to happen. We shouldn't wish that it happened. There needs to be all different kinds of voices out there promoting a vegan diet because there's all different kinds of people that need to hear the message. So there's no reason to look down on somebody because they don't conform to your idea of what a perfect vegan is. You know, you can surround yourself with those types of vegans and that's great. You can't expect all vegans to have any one idea about how to live life. It's just not it's just not realistic. No group can have that kind of uniformity. And nor yeah. should you expect or want that. Yeah. So I guess we don't want this to be too long of a video or yeah. to upset too many people. But uh, yeah, go ahead and leave your comments down below. And keep it civil. <laughs> like or dislike the video, share it with someone. And uh, more importantly than ever, keep it calm, calm. and keep, keep it, it rational. rational. Gotta let